what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a nice and beautiful question on the board that says x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 36 and we are told to look for the value of x well observe what we have on the left hand side we have a perfect cube and we also have a perfect square so the sum of a perfect cube and a perfect square gives 36. So all we have to do is to split 36 into the sum of a perfect cube and a perfect square. So we have x cubed plus x squared to be equal to. Now splitting 36 into the sum of a perfect cube and a perfect square, we have 27, which is a perfect cube, plus 9, which is a perfect square. So this is simplified into x cubed plus x squared to be equal to 27 is written as 3 cubed plus 9 is written as 3 squared. Now our next step will be for us to move 3 cubed and 3 squared to the left hand side. So we have x cubed. I'm going to be moving 3 cubed to the left hand side and when I do that it becomes minus 3 cubed now I have plus x squared and I'll move 3 squared to the left hand side and when I do that it becomes minus 3 squared and this is equal to 0 now notice that I have difference of 2 cubes and difference of 2 squares Difference of two cubes has identity. For example, when I have a cube minus b cube, this has an identity of a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. What about difference of two squares? Difference of two squares has identity of a minus b times a plus b. Now, we're going to be writing this in terms of the identities. So, for difference of two cubes, it becomes x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared. Just like this. Plus, now we're going to be writing the identity for difference of two squares. So, this will be x minus 3 times x plus 3 just like this and this is equal to 0 so we're going to be equating this to 0 now let's simplify what we have here so we have x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared is 9 plus x minus 3 times x plus 3 and this is equal to 0. Now notice that from the left hand side, we have x minus 3 to be common. So we have to factor out x minus 3. And then open brackets. Now this divided by x minus 3, we have this. Which is x squared plus 3x plus 9. Plus... Now, this divided by x minus 3, we have x plus 3. So, x plus 3. And this is equal to 0. Now that, now that the factorization is out of the way, so we have x minus 3. And then simplifying what we have in this parenthesis, we have x squared. Now, adding like terms, 3x plus x, that is 4x. And then 9 plus 3 is 12. And this is equal to 0. Now we have two cases. We have x minus 3 to be equal to 0. Or we have x squared plus 4x plus 12 to be equal to 0. So I'm going to be calling this case 1. And I'll call this case 2. For case 1, to get the value of x, I just have to move negative 3 to the right. And when I do that, it becomes positive 3 
on the right. So in that case, we get x to be equal to 3. And I believe that that is very easy to identify, seeing that we have the sum of a cube and a square on the left and on the right. So we can easily identify x to be 3. That is it. Now, that is not the only solution because we can get other solutions from our case 2. Now, our case 2 is in the form of a quadratic equation. But we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Our a from here is 1, our b is 4, and our c is 12. So the quadratic formula we're going to be using is x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute here. So we have x to be equal to negative b. So that will be negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. That will be 4 squared minus 4 times a times c. That is 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. That is 2 times 1. And now simplifying further, we have x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 is 48 all over 2 times 1 is 2. So simplifying further, we have x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48 is negative 32 all over 2. Now let's split this negative 32. So we have x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus. So this can be written as the square root of negative 32 is same as 16 times 2 times negative 1 all over 2. Now, we're going to be splitting this into individual radicals. So this will be x equal to negative 4 plus or minus. This will be the square root of 16 times the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1 all over 2. Finally, we're going to be having x to be negative 4 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is actually 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is i all over 2. And then we're going to be splitting the fraction. So this will be x equal to negative 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 4 root 2i divided by 2. And then simplifying further, x will be negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 plus or minus 4 root 2i divided by 2 is 2 root 2i. So we can separate them. So this will be the second value of x, which is equal to negative 2 plus 2 root 2i. And then the third value of x will be x equal to negative 2. Now we take the negative minus 2 root 2i. And there we have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.